No. You can't just bust it's into over, my... Drew, the sterile field has been broken. Yeah, because you walked Stand on the... Stand bloody... down. Madonna, please ensure that Mr. Bremner is very well looked after in recovery. Uh, of course. Who do you think you are, just busting in here and blocking him up? Do you really want an audience for this? OK, Rebecca, I know this is your hospital, but I'm the bloody HOD. This is my department. You bumped him up the list. Past a patient with a bowel obstruction in genuine need and agonising pain. They're on painkillers. Did you? Yes or no? My office. Now, please. You don't actually care about me. All this talk about support, and then when I say something you don't like, it's all, oh, let's think this through. I do care. I do support you. I'm just making, making it sure. even harder? No. You're lying. Cassie, it is always, always the woman's right to choose. Do you even think I'm a woman, or am I just a kid having your kid's kid? I can't lie. OK, this, this is... <laughs> this is very, very difficult for me. That baby, your baby... Wilder's baby. Your body, Cassie. Your choice. Everything else. What I want, what I feel, none of that matters. All that matters is you. I'm sorry. Me too. I, I want you to be happy. Hey, stop. Happy? That was never on the cards. I miss him too. I know. But a baby, it's not the answer. It won't take away the pain. Yeah. You have to look after you, Cassie. And you didn't gang up? You and the psychiatrist? No, never. Because I'm sure about this, Maeve. I can't have this baby. Your life. Your body. It's your choice. She's... Patient's treatment to give your mates freebies. Let's just cut to the real issue here. You and your hate-filled transphobic agenda. Stop right there. Oh, you're denying you're against gender affirmation surgery? You and your Brightshine church? Brightshine is not the issue here. You got your pet shrink, Julianne Kent, to put up a roadblock. I have no say over her clinical decisions. Oh, and on. you can still perform your precious surgery after you have cleared the acute list. What? Drew, I am trying to save your career here. If you will just shut up for five seconds and let me explain. Every move you make is being watched. Sorry? The surgical department is being audited. By who? Te Fatu Order have an agency on it. Where do you think I've been all day? Stuck in meetings trying to defend my decision to fire Emmett Whitman. He had to go. We are all under the microscope, and I cannot have my senior staff undermining me or attacking me for what they presume to know about my beliefs. You're not messing with me. I can do Morgan surgery. Yes. But stop messing with me, or I'll find myself a new head of surgery. What are you doing around these parts? Oh, you think I just glide from my office to the lift to my chariot, and that's it? Well, you're always off on some church business, not mixing it down here with the workers. I'm all about the workers. Good. Help me find a 0.5 mil gauge. This is fun. Mm -hmm. A few secret minutes with you. Secrets. Point five. Right. It's in the wrong damn cubby. Careful. Someone will see us together. I'm worried about you, Maeve. I'm dealing. Trying. Well, I am worried for you. Cassie is being so heartless. No. Selfish. She's, she's just trying to live her life. Yeah, but at what price? What about your life? This is her choice, and I am backing her. But your heart's not keeping up with your head? As much as I want it to. Well... Maybe then you just have to trust, have faith that it will all work out. Faith? That's your department, not mine. Then I'll have faith for both of us. Stay strong. Start to work. I'll call you when he wakes up. Shouldn't be long. Yeah. Bingo. Uh, Mr. Bremner, hi. You're back in the ward now. Wake up. There's no hurry. The drowsiness will wear off. 
spot. There's been a bit of a delay with your surgery, I'm afraid. It didn't happen. There was an admin error. Uh, the hospital couldn't cover all the costs and there are complications with the insurance. But you said... I'm so sorry, but it will happen. That's guaranteed. No. No, you promised. Morgan. No. Maybe just let him rest. Cassie, thank you for popping in. I won't keep you from school too long. How's it all going? Fine. Look what I found. A bunch of old photos from youth group. No way. And I thought instead of them just sitting here, maybe someone like you could sort through them, work out which ones we should keep. Oh, man, not that canned whipped cream. That camp was mental. <laughs> so I heard. Did I see you round here yesterday? At an appointment, maybe? I hear you had an unexpected guest in theatre last night. Yep, shut down Morgan's surgery. Oh, I thought she would have gone home by then. She's everywhere. And you caved, you let her win. With good reason. Turns out all eyes are on our department. Tafaru Ora is doing an audit. She wanted to make sure we're squeaky clean. <laughs> and you bought that. What, do you think she's playing me? You tried to hide a surgery from the CEO. She wasn't even bothered by that. And yet, she didn't bother to tell you about a high-level inspection of your own department. Drew, you need to wise up very quickly. Uh, legit, she said outright she's not phobic, it's not personal. She... That sneaky sucker. Kind of made me feel trapped. I'm sorry to hear that. Cassie, I understand all your fears around having this baby, especially when you're so young and on your own. I know Brett Shine is against stuff like this, but... No, no, it's not about the church. I don't want to upset you. This is about you. I've got Maeve. She's backing me no matter what. So if you decided you did want to keep the baby... No, I'm having a termination. I have to. Hmm. Looking at you and all these gorgeously silly photos reminds me of Psalm 127.3. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. Please don't do this. 